Hi everyone! Today we're going to study permutations. Let us define permutation. Permutation is an arrangement of items where order is taken into consideration. There are ways to find permutations. Number one, the counting principle. Number two, permutation formulas. Let us study the counting principle or sometimes called multiplication principle. The counting principle states that the total number of outcomes for an event is found by multiplying the number of choices for each stage of the event. Let's have an example. How many three-digit numbers can be formed from the numbers 3, 5, 7, and 9? If, letter A, repetition of digit is allowed. Letter B, repetition of digit is not allowed. Let us solve for problem A. For the permutation, let us write three blanks here to represent the three digit numbers. Each blank here represent the number of choices for each stage. So for the first blank, there will be four choices of the digits. So in here, we can write four. For the second blank, since repetition of digit is allowed, there will be four choices again. For the third blank and repetition is allowed, there will be four choices also. And then, let us multiply these numbers. 4 times 4 times 4. And the answer is 64. There are 64 three-digit numbers. Now, for letter B. This time, repetition of digit is not allowed. So again, we have three blanks here that represents each stage. And we're going to put the choices for each stage. For the first blank, there will be four choices because there are four digits here. Now, suppose one number is already chosen here. The next blank, there will be three choices only. And now, there are two numbers seated on our blanks. So it means to say, since there is no repetition allowed, the third blank has two choices only. So let us now multiply the numbers 4 times 3 times 2, and that is 24. It means there are 24 three-digit numbers and repetition is not allowed. Let's go now to permutation formulas. And this is letter A. The number of permutation of n number of items taken r at a time is given by this formula. P of n of r. Take note that the symbol here, this is n factorial. So the formula is n factorial over the quantity n minus r factorial. And this n factorial is simplified into n times the quantity n minus 1 times the quantity n minus 2 up to it reach 3 times 2 times 1. And 1 is the last number. 
For example, if we have 4 factorial, this is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the final product is 24. By definition, take note that 0 factorial equals 1. Let us have example 1. How many 3-digit numbers can be formed from the numbers 3, 5, 7, and 9 if repetition is not allowed? Remember, this problem was solved in our previous topic on multiplication principle. Using this formula, let us now write P of 4 because there are 4 digits, namely 3, 5, 7, and 9, comma, and this is 3 because the required is 3 digit number. This is equal to n factorial now becomes 4 factorial over the n minus r is now 4 minus 3 factorial. Then let us simplify this 4 minus 3. We have 1 factorial. Simplifying further, the 4 factorial becomes 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 1 factorial is also 1. And our final answer here is 24, which is the same answer in our previous example. Let's have example 2. How many 5-letter words, so this is with or without meaning, can be formed from the word liberty without repetitions? So our formula is P of 7, 5. The number 7 comes from the number of letters in the word liberty. And this 5 is the 5-letter word that is required in the problem. This is equal to the n factorial is 7 factorial over the n minus r is now 7 minus 5 factorial. And this 7 minus 5 is 2. And we will take the factorial. And this is now equal to the 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That is for the 7 factorial. All over, the 2 factorial is 2 times 1. We can cancel this 2 times 1. And there is 2 times 1 also in the denominator. So let us multiply 7 times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, and the product is 2,520. These are the five letter words that we can form from the word liberty. This is our final answer. Let's have letter B formula of permutation, and it says the number of of permutation of n number of items taken all at a time. So this is P of n of n equals n factorial. For example, how many ways can you arrange five different books on a shelf? So this is equal to P of 5 of 5 and that is equal to 5 factorial. And we know the 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And the product is 120. So we have 120 ways to arrange 5 different books on a shelf. This is our final answer. Example 2. How many four digit numbers can we make using the digits 3, 6, 7, and 8 without repetitions. So we write 
P of 4. There are 4 digits here. And 4. Because we require a 4 digit numbers. Simply means we are taking all the digits at a time. So this is equal to 4 factorial. So 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equals 24. This is our final answer. Letter C. If there are n elements in a set and r sub 1 are alike, r sub 2 are alike, r sub 3 are alike, and so on through r sub k. The number of permutations can be found by this formula. In the numerator is n factorial all over the denominator r sub 1 factorial times r sub 2 factorial times up to the last factor which is r sub k factorial. Let us have an example. Find the number of rearrangements of the letters in the word distinct. So using this formula, we will write here 8 factorial because the number 8 comes from the number of letters of the word distinct. Now in the denominator, we have 2 factorial times 2 factorial because both the letters I and letter T are repeated twice. So let us simplify this. The 8 factorial becomes 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. All over, 2 factorial is 2 times 1 times 2 factorial is another 2 times 1. To simplify further, we can cancel this 2 times 1 with this 2 times 1 here. And this number 2, we can cancel with number 4, and the number 4 becomes 2. And another number 1 is in the denominator that we can simply ignore. Now, let us multiply 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 2 times 3 and the product is 10,080 and this is the number of arrangements this is our final answer Hi everyone, today we are going to study combinations. Let us define combinations. Combination is an arrangement of items where order is not taken into account. Thus, the number of combination of n items taken all at a time is 1. Now, the number of combinations of n objects taken r at a time is determined by the formula C, which means combination of n comma r equals n factorial in the numerator over the denominator which is n minus r factorial times r factorial let's have example one in how many ways can you select a committee of three students out of ten students our formula is here so we have now C of 10, 3. 
this 10 comes from the 10 students that is our n and the 3 is the number of students in a committee and this is equal to the n factorial which is 10 factorial all over the n minus r is 10 minus 3 factorial and this r factorial is the 3 factorial let us simplify this 10 minus 3 becomes 7 factorial simplifying further this 10 factorial can be written as 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial all over the denominator let us keep the 7 factorial as is and then let us expand the 3 factorial into 3 times 2 times 1 by doing this we can see that the 7 factorial in the denominator can be cancelled with the 7 factorial in the numerator so we can cancel that and now the number 3 in the denominator can be cancelled with the number 9 in the numerator so number 3 remains also the number 2 in the denominator can be cancelled out with number 8 and this number 8 becomes 4 this number 1 here in the denominator can simply be ignored now let us simplify the numerator and that is we will take the product of 10 times 3 times 4 and this is equal to 120 and this is the number of committees as required by the problem this is our final answer let's have example 2 there are 10 people at a party if they all shake hands how many handshakes are possible this is our formula and by this time we are now more confident in using our formula so with regard to our problem this is now equal to C the combination of 10 because there are 10 people that is our n comma 2 we know that for every handshake there are two people involved so this is equal to the n factorial is 10 factorial all over the n minus r is 10 minus 2 factorial times r factorial is now 2 factorial here simplifying further this 10 minus 2 is now 8 and this is factorial and then let us simplify further the 10 factorial in the numerator we will write as 10 times 9 times 8 factorial over the denominator we will keep the 8 factorial as is and we will expand the 2 factorial into 2 times 1 we intentionally do this so that the 8 factorial here can be cancelled with 8 factorial in the numerator so that's it and then the number 2 in the denominator let us cancel that with the number 10 in the numerator and this number 10 becomes 5 of course the number 1 left in the denominator can simply be ignored let us now simplify our numerator so this is 5 times 9 and this is equal to 45 it means there are 45 handshakes for 10 people at a party this is our final answer I hope you learned something from this video see you again next time